Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be sharing with you some moves that can help to tone and strengthen the glutes but these moves also strengthen the hamstrings. So we're going to get started in a supine position. So hold on to the backs of your thighs, take a breath in and then as you exhale slowly start to round through the lower back, kiss the lower back onto the mat and then lie down. Good. So we'll be starting with the shoulder bridge. So feet are hip width distance apart, uh, thighs are parallel, arms are by the sides of the body. So you don't want your feet to be too far or too close to you. Your fingertips should be able to just touch your heels. Now press down firmly into both your feet, inhale, and as you exhale, tuck the tailbone up draw the belly in, navel is in toward the spine and start to peel the spine off the floor. Okay. Lift up high, draw the belly in, hug the ribs in together, keep the neck long. Imagine an apple in between your chin and your chest, so you don't want to press the chin into your chest like that. And then slowly start to lower back down onto the mat, one vertebra at a time. Nice job. We're going to do that once again and now we'll start adding on just a little something in each round. So tuck the tailbone in, draw the belly in, press equally into both your feet and lift the hips up high. Now you want to engage the glutes and lift the hips high. Watch for your knees playing out, you want to keep them parallel. And notice what you're doing with your feet. Are you rolling to the outside edges of your feet? Then come back and press into the, uh, the big toe mount of your feet. From here, we're going to lift the right heel and lower. We're going to do that three more times. Lift and lower. Keep the hips high. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Let's switch to the left side lift the heel and lower. Keep that engagement in the glutes. That's two, keep the core engaged. Three, ribs are in and four, lift the hips up and then slowly come back onto your mat. Good, we're going to continue with this and we're going to lift the heels up six times on each side now. So press equally into both your feet, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly in and slowly start to peel your spine off the floor. Nice. Notice what your feet are doing. Press equally into both your feet. Keep your thighs parallel. And let's start with the right heel lifting. One, two, keep breathing. Keep your neck long, that's three. Keep the hips high, four, bellies in, five, and six, good job. So ne next is the left, but keep your hips high. Notice if your hips are dropping. And let's start. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Lift the hips and slowly come back onto your back. Good. We have the last round now. We're going to do eight on each side and then we're going to lower down, okay? Let's go for it. Tuck the belly in, draw the ribs in together, and lift the hips up high. Feel that engagement in the glutes. All right, let's go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, good. We're switching to the left side. One, two, keep the hips high. Three, engage those glutes. Four, draw the ribs in. Five, six, keep the neck long. Seven, and eight, good job. Lift the hips, and then slowly, starting from the upper back, mid back, lower back, roll back down. Nice job, you should already be feeling that burn in the glutes. Now, we will, we will reach the hips up high and then lift both heels together, okay? 
Press equally into both your feet. Lift. Coming into that shoulder bridge. Let's go for it. So we're going to go for 10. Lift and lower. Try to keep the hips at the same level. Three, four, five. Lift the hips, six. Engage the glutes, seven. Keep the neck long, eight. Nine, keep breathing. And 10, can we keep the heels off the floor and lift the hips a little higher? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, drop the heels and then slowly come back onto the mat. Good job. Hug both the knees in and roll from side to side. Nice, we'll be revisiting the shoulder bridge at the end of our sequence, so stay till the end. So for now, just roll over all the way and we're going to move on to the next exercise. For that, we're going to come on to our right side. We'll start off with getting our knee, so the right knee, the left foot and the right wrist in one line, okay? If this is too much for your wrist, you always have the option to lower down onto the forearm, okay? I'm going to demonstrate it on my wrist. Good, so from here, you want to press away from the ground and not collapse into your shoulders, so push away, engage the core. Think of lifting the bottom waist away from the ground, okay? So once we have this, we're going to lift the left foot so that it is in line with the hip, right? Good, from here, bend the knee, Keep the knee at the same level and bring it toward your chest and press away. Imagine you want to press into the wall that is away from you with the sole of your foot. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep pressing away from the ground with your right hand. Five, four, Three, core is engaged, two, one, and hold your little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower, nice job. Okay, we're going to bring that foot down to the floor and come onto this, this kneeling position, shoulders over the hips. Reach the arms up high, take a breath in, and as we exhale, we're going to bring the left hand onto the left shin and reach the right arm overhead. It's a beautiful stretch. Keep the chest open. And then come back onto the side. So this time, again, feel free to drop your forearm down and keep the knee the elbow and the foot in line. So you can either choose this or you can stay on your hand. So see what feels better for you. Now from here, we're going to lift that left foot, flex the foot. Once again, core is engaged, push away from the ground. We're going to kick forward, point the toes and kick the foot back. So it's slightly behind my hip now. So I'm going to kick twice, twice, and point and get it behind my hip. Let's go for 10. So that's nine. So kick, kick, and bring it back. Eight, kick, kick, and bring it back. That's seven, kick, kick, six, kick, kick, five, Keep breathing, four, three, keep the leg at the same level, two, one, let's go for the last one, kick, kick, and get it behind, bring it to the same level, and let's do that beautiful stretch again. Left hand onto the shin, reach the right arm overhead, beautiful. Okay, we're going to move on to the other side. So stretch the right leg out this time. Make sure the foot, the knee, and the hand are all in one line. 
Remember, if this is too much for your knee, you can always double up the mat or place a cushion or a towel under the knee, all right? Good. So let's engage our core. Press away from the ground and lift the right foot. All right, good. So we're going to bend the knee and push away. So imagine pressing into a pump with the sole of your right foot. Let's go for 10. Nine, eight, keep breathing. Seven, six, four, five, four, three, two, one, last one, little pulses. So ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two, one, and release the foot down. Let's go into that stretch. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right hand onto the right shin, left arm overhead. Breathe, feel that stretch in the left side of the body. And let's come back. Once again, feel free to go onto your forearm if this is too much for your wrist. We're going to lift the right foot, keep the core engaged, flex the foot. Right, let's start with those kicks. So let's kick, kick, point, and reach it back. 10, nine, keep the core engaged. Eight, seven, six, five, a little wobbly on this side for me. Four, three, we've got two more. Let's do this. Two, one, and last one. Good job. Bring it back to center. Drop the foot. Come back into that stretch. Good job, everybody. Stretch it out and come back to center good job we're going to come onto our belly now so bring your hands under the shoulders shift forward keep your core super engaged and then slowly lower down nice from here we're going to bring the arms forward keep the legs really long so imagine somebody pulling your legs away and we're going to lift the arms and the legs together without bending the knees. So keep the legs really long and straight. Let's go for, we'll go for eight, all right? Let's do this. Inhale as you lift everything. Keep the neck long, exhale down. That's eight, seven, six. Feel that engagement. Five in the glutes, in the back muscles, in the hamstrings. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Hold here. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Good. Bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck your toes under and press yourself up. Come onto the stable top position. So from here, now we're going to keep the wrists right under the shoulders. Knees are under the hips. You can bring the hips, uh, the knees, sorry, slightly together just for a little more balance. And now, once again, we're not collapsing into the shoulders like this, press away. So create space between your shoulder blades, okay? And draw the belly in. You want to keep your core really strong for this. Lift the right knee off the floor and start to circle. So big circles, you're working on that hip joint. Before that, you're using your glute muscles. So that was two, three, Four, keep your neck long, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, and 10. Let's switch directions. Let's go in the opposite direction for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice job. Okay. Now, from here, we're going to lower down onto our forearms. And you're going to stretch out the right leg behind you. Okay. Let's lift the foot. And we're going to draw little rainbows like we did in the previous video. So tap to one corner of your mat. Lift and tap the other corner. Let's go for 10. Nine, keep the core engaged, keep pressing away from the ground with your forearms. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice, bring back the knee under your hip. Now we're going to bring the right hand onto the mat, keep the left forearm down. So press away from the ground with your right palm and slightly rotate your upper body toward the right. And we're going to open up the knee and bring it back. Open and bring it back. So keep that 90 degree angle in the knee. Let's go for 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, keep breathing, 3, 2, 1, that's the last one, and lower, good job. We're going to do the same thing on the other side now. So wrists under the shoulders, knees are hip width distance or a little closer, and we're going to go for those hip circles, okay? Bring the left knee all the way to your forearm and circle it around. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Opposite direction, switch directions. So really draw big circles with that knee. That's five, we've got five more. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good job. Come on to your forearms. So elbows are right under your shoulders. Stretch out the left leg. Keep the belly engaged. Push through your forearms. Create some space between the shoulder blades. Lift that foot and let's start to draw those rainbows. So tap to one corner of your mat, lift and tap the other corner. So I'm not lifting too much. My foot is not going higher than my hip. So let's go for 10 more, 10. And nine, eight, seven. Keep breathing, keep that core engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Nice job. Bring back the knee under your hip and we're going to bring the left hand onto the floor now and slightly rotate. So press down into your left hand, rotate the upper body toward the left. And we're going to open and close the knee now. So keep your core engaged and let's go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the last one. Good job. Stretch it out into your child's pose. Bring your hips toward your heels. Take a couple of breaths here. 
Good job. Now, we're going to come back into tabletop position. Just a little bonus here. We're going to tuck our toes under, lift the knees off the floor just a couple of inches, keep the belly in, keep pressing away from the ground. And we're going to bring the knees together and away. Let's go for 10. In and out. Nine. Out. Eight. Out. Seven. Keep breathing. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I don't know what I've done with my counting, but we're going to go for five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Last one. Nice job. Good job. And just shake it out. And this is the last exercise. Like I promised, we're revisiting the shoulder bridge, but we're adding on here. So this is going to be the last burn for your glutes. Let's go for it together. So roll down onto your back. Bring your feet hip width distance. And let's get ready for this last exercise. So you want your foundation to be really strong. So press nicely into both your feet equally. Lift the hips up high. Now, you want to really find your balance here. Press into the foot, the left foot, nice and strongly. Make sure that the big toe mount is on the floor and you're not rolling onto the outside edge. Now lift the right heel and lift the foot all the way up. So you're straightening that right leg. Keep the hips lifted. Now we're going to lower and lift the hips, keeping the leg here. So lower, let's go for 10, and lift. Think of reaching the sole of your foot to the sky. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's hold it here for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, lower down, good job. This was pretty hard, but you've done it, so good job. We have the last one on the left side now. So come into your strong bridge, keep the neck long, lift the hips up high. Now find your foundation in the right foot, press, lift the left foot nice and high toward the ceiling. So the foot is reaching toward the sky. And lower the hips, and lift. Lower, keep that leg nice and straight, reach it high. Eight, seven, six, four, keep breathing, three, two, one, we've got one more. Keep it lifted for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend, lift the hips up high. Last one, last one count. And lower down. Good job. Give yourself a little hug. Hug the knees in. Roll from one side to the other. Take a couple of breaths here. And before we end this, Let's just give our glutes a little stretch. So bring your right ankle on top of the left thigh and just gently pushing this knee away. You don't want to force anything. Just hug this entire shape toward your body. So you should feel that stretch all the way into the glute on the right side. And then we're going to switch sides. So bring the left ankle onto your right thigh just gently opening up through the left thigh, the left hip, pull the shape toward you. And slowly release. Just roll over to one side. And this is where I say, well done. And I will see you next time. Please feel free to do more repetitions or more sets of each exercise. You could do maybe two or three of each, depending on where you're, you've reached uh, in your 
progressions. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do leave a like, maybe even share this with whoever you think could enjoy it. And subscribe to my channel because I do post videos daily. And let me know what you'd like to see next. I'll be happy to make a video for that. Thank you very much and see you next time. Have a great day.